Sheep can suffer from a number of different ectoparasites, all of which can cause irritation, disease and even death. They are all a high welfare concern and reduce productivity. The four parasites of most concern are sheep scab mites, lice, ticks and blowfly strike. Sheep scab mites and lice complete their whole life cycle on the sheep and only survive for a short period of up to 18 days off the animal. In contrast, ticks and blowfly only spend a part of their life cycles feeding on the animal and spend the rest of the time off the animal in the environment. It's really important that you know which parasites are present so that you can effectively target the right treatment for the right parasite. If there is any doubt, test, don't guess and consult your vet for a diagnosis. For long-term sustainable use of medicines, we need to ensure that we use the right products at the right time and in the right way, which includes following the guidance on disposal. There are four chemical groups available to treat ectoparasites in sheep. These are the ML injections, organophosphate dips, or OPs, synthetic pyrethroid, porons, and the insect growth regulators, IGRs. Once a diagnosis has been made and the correct product group identified, for any of these products to work effectively, every animal must receive the correct dose. This must be administered correctly, exactly as described on the package information. ML injections will treat sheep scab. Depending on the active used, they can prevent reinfestation for a period of time. Products with a shorter persistency period will need two treatments to effectively remove the scab mites. Be aware that some scab mites have developed resistance to MLs. MLs are also used to treat roundworms in sheep. Therefore, the use of MLs for sheep scab can select for resistant roundworms. OP dips will kill scab mites, lice, ticks and blowfly on the sheep and prevent reinfestation for a variable period. OP dip products should only be used in a plunge dip. Using these products in showers or jetters will not adequately wet the skin, allowing some parasites to survive, giving them the opportunity to develop resistance. The concentration in the bath must be correct from the beginning. Extra concentrate should be added to the bath on head count to maintain the chemical levels. Every sheep should be immersed in the bath for at least one minute, with the head plunged under once. There is legislation regarding the use and disposal of OPs, so a certificate of competence is required to purchase them. However, the increase in mobile dipping companies has helped deal with this. SP porons will kill lice, ticks and blowfly maggots, and prevent ticks and blowfly strike for a period of time. Correct application methods vary between products and can be different for each parasite. Products can also offer varying lengths of protection. Read the product instructions and make sure to use the correct application method for the target parasite. IGRs are a targeted treatment to prevent blowfly strike and provide the longest period of protection. Unlike the other treatments, they are not insecticidal. IGRs work by preventing the harmless first-stage blowfly larvae developing into the more harmful second and third stages. IGRs should be applied using the four-stroke method. Half the dose is applied to the back and half to the breech area, making sure that each stroke overlaps slightly. The product spreads by gravity before binding to the fleece. There are several common errors when applying SP and IGR pour-on products. These include application to one side of the midline, resulting in protection on only one side of the sheep, failing to overlap the strokes for IGRs, not taking adequate care when handling animals after application, Allowing lambs to lie down or roll in the grass immediately after treatment. Failing to ensure the full dose lands on the animal. 
exposing animals to very heavy rainfall after the product has been applied. So, to make the most of your medicines and for effective control of ectoparasites in sheep, be sure to get the correct diagnosis. Then use the right product for the right parasite at the right time and apply the right amount using the right method, making sure it all gets onto the animal and stays there. To find out more, please visit our websites.